Hi guys and welcome to my video about how to fix floating Elementor elements. I want to say sorry about my voice. I've been sick for a week and my voice has been like this for two weeks. I'm no longer sick but my voice is still not back. I don't know why. Uh, it will get better. Anyway, so uh, as probably some of you knows, I've been trying to make a website. It's respectmfs.com. It's actually this one here. I've been having a lot of troubles. Elementor Elements is an amazing tool if you know how to use it. And if you don't, you will go through hell and back so many times as I did. So, advice. If you want to use it, go check Beginner's Guide. It will take you a few hours to check a few of them, but it will make your life easier for in the long term. Anyway, so what problem I had? I had the problem that when I go on mobile version, uh, this is my loop, and it appears like this. And it's not cool for a mobile version to appear like this. So I couldn't find a way to fix it. I went through... All of the settings I I couldn't uh, that's the only closest thing I got when you zoom out it's okay sort of this one is still not zoom in but it was so much better than the previous one so I left it like this and I left it like this until one day I needed to find my my folder and it's not here I noticed there is something showing up here but I was like yeah that's probably my main menu because I missed so much around People will not see it, I hope. No, that's my folder, actually. <laughs> so, um, you have a position option, which is located when you when you click. You should normally see a pencil if you don't have edited like I did. So you see the pencil, and when you go to advanced position, you will see this position option, which should be on default if everything is fine, but if you um, click it on absolute you will be seeing this thing <laughs> I don't know how it's pronounced in English and it will allow you to freely move your element everywhere you like but in the same time it will be like on top of everything else as you can see here on animation it's normally used for small things like this not for big things like this because when I use it, everything under goes up, here is my folder, and the big recent post thing goes on top of it, and as you can see it's picking up here. It works for my mobile version, if I don't need folder, but here is not a good idea. The good people from Elementor tell you to not use it very frequent, because my have problems like this so you just need to check if it shows on positioning if it's absolute and change it to default when you change it to default your things will be under that you know this one will be on it position on the grid and everything will be where it's supposed to be I will still be getting this view for my mobile version, so if any of you know how the hell I can fix it, I will be really happy to let me know what the problem is, more about that problem, um, I mean about this one. It is a custom skin for a recent post, and I have alternating two types of templates, one is left and the other one comes from right. When I look at them, separately like when I go to the template the the picture is on top and the text is on under it or vice versa but never shows like this it appears like this only here and I have no freaking idea how to fix it so if any of you know how to fix it I'll be really happy and if this video is helpful I will be happy to know by you liking comment and maybe subscribing if you haven't make sure you check out my website and if you find any mistakes, I'll be on Twitter to let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye-bye.